composting toilet is what's going to be inside of here. Nice and sturdy. I've already given it a nice little squat. I'll show you guys a little sneak peek. And we have the one and a half inch butcher block. I could not find the rest of the footage. What is up? Another van build project. We didn't film initially what we did today. We were doing a lot of brainstorming and kind of started putting stuff together and then realized we didn't film. But the what we like to call vanity was put together today. At least the structure of it was put together today. So I'll show you what we did. We have our two sides that are plywood, um, half inch Baltic birch. The dimension is 20 and a half by 34 and a half, I think. Um, 20 and a half by 34 and a half. And that leaves us enough room for like an inch and a half countertop to give us like a average 36 inch countertop. But we were originally going to do two sides plywood and the back side plywood. But because of the purpose for our vanity, it ended up not working out that way because it would have taken up too much room. Um, because this, this um, nature's head composting toilet is what's going to be inside of here. It's going to be on some um, heavy duty drawer slides, but it's going to... It's going to be in here, just like this, and the reason why we didn't put the back plywood on it, as you can see, is for the scent vent tube. Um, it would have been too far back, so what we're doing with this is running it back behind there. There really won't be a wall behind this, but obviously you won't be able to see that. Um, I'm going to route that down, run it through the floor. Um, drill through the floor so that that vent will go straight out the bottom of the van. We did this to save some space obviously because accounting for that tube would have made our countertops come out way about, too far. Yeah, yeah 25 inches or so and then back here we'll probably just spray paint it all white. Um, up here I might I might might do like a piece of plywood or something eventually up here because I don't think that's gonna hurt anything. But you're never but, uh, gonna see it because yeah, you'll never see it. We're gonna have drawers here, drawers here, and then this will all be on a what looks like just a big lower drawer. Um, it'll be on slides. But back to the structure of the vanity. Get this uh, pooper out the way. <laughs> um, all right. So since we couldn't do the back at back side plywood, we wanted to make sure that it was still. Um, would still keep the shape and be strong. So we mounted three, two, uh, three one by threes on the back, sorry. Um, and these will be able to go into our furring strips all the way up and down. So that'll grab onto the back. And then we also did two, um, two more one by threes on the bottom, giving it some structural soundness there. And then up here, we have uh, just a one by three for kind of like a backer for the top drawer when the time comes and just uh, enough more support for the counter. And then this is the divider between the bottom and the top set of drawers. So that way the drawers will have, you know, enough room to come rest here. But it's a pretty quick overview. We'll catch you on the next steps of this vanity build. Okay, so we have our vanity here completely structured out. Now the next step is to work on the drawer slides for our nature's head toilet that we're storing here. So as you can see, we kind of started one side to kind of give you the rundown of how we're doing this. Um, here's our heavy duty uh, 20 inch drawer slides. So we have the outside of our vanity, then we mounted this piece of one by four right here um, from the outside to be the support for this slide. Um, we could have just put it directly on this plywood, but because it's only a half an inch, I, I just wanted it to be a little stronger than just the half an inch. So this is how it's going to be. This will actually be up just a hair, but just for a frame of reference, the slides will be here. But then for the drawer drawer, we're going to have these one by threes connected to the actual toilet drawer. And that's what will be mounted to the other end of the slide. And then we'll just have, you know, a piece of plywood underneath for all this. So we can slide it right out. So, 
one by four mounts it to the inside of this with all of these screws. Obviously it might look like a little overkill and it's a little ugly, but uh, you won't be able to see these. Our couch will be here uh, and this will be like unseen area. So we just wanted to make sure we were screwing from the outside and we also accounted for where these drawer slide screws will be. So we wanted to make sure we didn't drill from the outside where these screws would be needing to come in. So we made sure we measured and staggered the screws on the outside uh, to account for those. We got our drawer slides mounted to the frame of the vanity to hold our toilet. It didn't come with screws, so we bought some and then we had to use washers to make sure they were snug in the holes. So there's two up there and then there's two up here. It was actually really easy for us to get this level. All we did is stick this three quarter inch block under it and held it up as we screwed those in. That was easy because the bottom of the drawer for the toilet is a half inch Baltic birch and then we accounted for about a quarter inch of an air gap so that the drawer won't be rubbing against this wood frame when we pull it out. Okay, so this is our actual drawer for the toilet, if you will. As you can see, we just had a half inch Baltic birch on the bottom, two one by, threes. one by threes on the ends that are just pocket jigged in. We also have some wood glue in there as well. And we haven't yet, but we're gonna also put some, some nails underneath coming through the one by threes just to make sure it's extra, extra sturdy because this is actually gonna be holding, you know, more weight than many things in the, in the van if you know me about 200 pounds is gonna be on it so got to be strong um, so but as you can see this fits in here perfectly between the drawer slides um, we haven't mounted them to the drawer slides yet but this is pretty much just how it will work come out like this it will be obviously on the drawer slides at this point but right back in and this is our drawer face it will be sitting just like this. It will be attached to the actual drawer via pocket screws right here. And we also created some, some 90 degree supports that will be pocket jig just like this as well. We have, you know, 245 degree angles go right here so this will be a nice and strong support for whenever we're you know pulling out so that way it keeps its its structure and doesn't want to come away from the drawer itself and then this one is a little bit smaller for the front because uh that's where the front of the nature's head toilet is and a little the potty tray you have to be able to take out a lot a lot easier so if it this other one was as big as that it'd get in the way so this one's just a little smaller but it's still there for support slides very very easily um, as you can see there's about a half inch gap between the lower braces and then about a full inch to about an inch and a quarter from the, the ground but yeah so we finally have our drawer for the toilet on the heavy slides and the next next point of action is to get the um, the actual door for it mounted and um, and attaching the extra support we have from the door to the slide and go from there. the door to make sure it's nice and sturdy. Um, just throwing on some mud glue first. Okay. 
And then I'm just gonna take another measurement and measure this brace, which is two and a sixteenth inch inward. And I'll do the same right here. Look up here. And I actually got it almost perfect. Together. Here is the finished product. Nice and sturdy. I've already given it a nice little squat and made sure it can hold weight. It is good to go. Gets in there like a glove. And this door will be able to support it if there's any sag happening um, when we're sitting on it too. But these are 250 pound drawer slides so they should be able to hold up just fine. And obviously, with that being said, if there is any weight applied to this, these braces we installed will help um, reinforce that. So this will not want to do any sort of uh, bending. It's in there like a glove. And I'm not sure if we mentioned this in previous recordings, but we also just made sure at the very bottom of this, we just cut it an eighth inch high. So that way when we drag, pull it out, it's not gonna drag. So from the bottom of the actual unit, it's about an eighth inch from the ground. So out of the way whenever you're pulling out, you don't get any drag so we don't scrape the floor. Time to make our first official drawer in the van. We have the dimensions we need. We have one of the side panels cut out already for it. So we're gonna duplicate this for the other side, do the front, back, and bottom. Hopefully get it all nice and square with some 90 degree tools we have. We are working on the drawers for our vanity. They're just two really narrow drawers above the toilet. One will probably be like an office space drawer and then the other will be like toiletries. We got our measurements. We got the front and the back piece by measuring this gap, subtracting an inch. And then for the width, we took the gap we subtracted an inch, half an inch for each drawer slide, and then an additional inch for each side of the drawer. Hey guys, I am here in our almost finished van. I was editing our footage for the vanity and realized that I could not find the rest of the footage that took place after cutting up the wood for the drawers. So I'm going to show you the finished vanity and you'll get to see what it looks like after all the priming and, priming and painting, which we never even filmed. And I can go over wh what exactly we did to install the rest of the vanity. So here's how the vanity turned out. The only thing we have left to do is put some caulking in here to seal that gap. But it is 34 and a half inches tall up until here and then we have the one and a half inch butcher block making this a full 36 inches high which is how tall our countertops were in our old loft. So you can see we did two narrow drawers. They're about three and a half inches deep. We have this one for our toiletries and then as you can see we added these one by three struts right here to have more support to screw the drawer slides into and then you can see down here the uh, sides of the drawer we just nailed into that half inch birch plywood um, bottom piece. And then we have our drawer slide. We could have spackled these, but we were just in a hurry to get this done. We also need to erase that clearly, but uh, you never see it. So that is the top drawer. We used a ball valve uh, latch. It looks like that. And then on the side, it looks like that. But, um, we find that the ball valves aren't very strong for heavy drawers. Luckily this one is very light, so we've never had an issue with this drawer. But our second drawer, 
is a tech drawer with all of our laptops and um, work supplies. So the ball valve latch did not work for this drawer. We ended up switching to an RV latch, which has worked great. And then you can see we have that one by three again for that extra mounting support. We finished the edges of all of our drawers with a wood edge tape and that helped make these um, edges look really finished. We also originally had uh, different handles. We had edge pull handles, so they would just peek out of the top and you'd pull them, but they were kind of chintzy and they would make creaking sounds when you'd pull them. So uh, we ended up going with these really sturdy matte black uh, handles and they look really, really nice compared to the last ones. And before I show you the toilet drawer, how it officially uh, turned out inside, um, as you can see, it's kind of messy here from, you know, rubbing this hook on the paint and our fingers and stuff like that. We went with a semi-gloss uh, acrylic paint. It was a really expensive high-end paint at Home Depot. Um, but I think anytime you go with white, it's definitely going to get dirty very quickly. And as you can see, we have not been in here that long and it is already very dirty, even though we do our best not to touch it. But I'll show you the inside of our toilet drawer. Just pull this out. As you can see back here, we have our, uh, air ventilation. That runs all the way to the back. We have it zip tied to a strut to make sure there's no kinking of that tube back here. It runs down to the outside of the van, outside of the bottom. That just ventilates all the smells. And then on this side, we have our extra toilet paper, which is actually nice because it kind of keeps the toilet um, from pushing up against this wall, which we had some issues with in the beginning, but we could definitely install something more permanent right here that keeps the toilet um, from, from pushing up against here. The reason we need space back here is because this is the uh, computer fan that sucks air in and sucks air outside of the van to ventilate this toilet. We need that to have air access. Um, and then we just have a small trash bin and we have an enzyme neutralizer. So we just spray that each time we pee to um, clean it and neutralize any odors. Then we also just installed this nice little hanging uh, toilet paper holder. And then you can see we had to cut out this little dip just to provide space for our ventilation. I'll show you guys a little sneak peek of the how the couch turned out. It looks really, really nice. So stay tuned for part two of that. We have our shoes. And our dog food and Ozzy's little outfits and a fire hydrant. So there you have it. If you have any other questions on how we built this vanity that we didn't cover, feel free to hit us up, leave a comment, and we will get back to you as soon as we can. Next week, we will be doing something similar but more thorough with the um, kitchen galley. So I'm excited for you guys to see that. Please subscribe if you want to stay um, in the loop, and we'll see you then. Run away, get away, get away now Too many games and they all trying to play out Too many people and they all start to change now Let me take a bet, they gon' know my name now Yeah, we came a long way, but it's one way Got a long way to go like it's Monday Someday gotta be in LA Know I gotta make it work out like